vlogging. <laughs> Hello. Um, I want to talk about like lasers and their eyes, basically. Because I'm thinking about getting laser eye surgery. Um, normally I would never consider this for a second, but um, it being one of my weird things. I ooh, hate. Um, the other being umbrellas and. Uh, animals trapped within an interior space coming at your face <laughs> so how it started was this it was my wife's birthday so we went out to a like super fancy restaurant and uh, it's one of these places where they have like nine courses of this mystery taster menu so you never know what you're gonna get but it's all fancy i say i'm terribly posh how does your nanny know you're out then lord poshy bollock i say so anyway we're tucking into this taster meal and suddenly uh, my uh, left eye gets all winky and like and that flops the contact lens. It's like, oh no. Oh well. Then I look at it, and it's not actually all of a contact lens, it's like two thirds of a contact lens, which as you can imagine is probably quite bad. So now I've got this little shard of plastic floating around in my eyeball and hiding in all various nooks and crannies, and generally causing mischief. So I stagger off to a toilet with a friend in tow in case anything goes like super bad, and I have like an eye hanging out and swinging around. I have to stick my finger directly onto my eyeball to try and find this thing because I can't actually see too well and I've had to take out the other lens because that's getting all weepy as well. Yeah, and he's there going <coughs> behind me because you know he hates things happening to eyes as well. I'm the one that's really here because I put my finger right on my cornea try to find his thing. Eventually I do find it and drag it off and go. <coughs> But by now, my eye is kind of... <laughs> yeah. That's not good. Still, got a fancy meal. The wife's enjoying it. It's her birthday. Come back. You know, it's expensive as well. You're not just going to go, Oh, it's not my eye. Hurts. I've got to go now. But, um, so I can't actually see what we're eating for the next few courses. What we do is, like, hire a taxi to bring the glasses to me. I like to think the little taxi man's there go driving around, pretending he's got the invisible man next to him. Going, Here, what are you thinking that there footballs then, eh? Jab, you joke, and keep your eyes on the road. Okay. So my glasses arrive. I can finally see again, see what I'm eating. Because, you know, it, it looks good as well, this food. It doesn't taste too much. But the next course is like duck's hearts in curdled mouse chuffs or something. Um, Duck's hearts? Why duck's heart? I mean, yeah, you're a master of your cooking craft, but who wants to eat a duck's heart, eh? I mean, ducks are famous for being tasty and that, but who wants to eat their organs? The brain, sure, gain its ducky knowledge, but no one has ever said, ooh, you know what I've got a craving for? A mallard's ventricles! So that's why I've been looking into laser eye surgery and I've found out a few things. First off, um, basically, they've got to cut a flap on your lens, flip it up, and get to the fleshy goodness underneath. Uh, two ways of doing this apparently. One, a handheld thing where they snip, snip, snip. New. New, new, new. And the other way, and this is much cooler, is they use a, a laser to cut a flap for the laser. Now that's lasers in your lasers, which, you know, that's like exhibit personally pimping your eye. Um, except they use some weird clampy thing on top of your eyeball to hold it in place. Ugh, still, lasers. 